Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the food experience. Today, I'm making potato boats. I think later in the video, I called them potato bowls and I was like tossing around the name and I'm like, no, I like boats. So that being said, I'm making five different versions. All of them turned out amazing. And I'm not even gonna tell you about them right now. Let's keep it a surprise. And until then, here we go. Over to the max, turn it on, and setting the time a lot higher than I need, and the temperature at 450 degrees. Start poking holes in your potatoes, and I like to poke holes all the way around. Next, throwing them into the max. Well, not throwing, but I'm placing them in the max. Five potatoes. After 25 minutes, removing the potatoes and brushing them with oil on all sides. Make sure to get the whole potato and just a light amount of oil. Then sprinkling some coarse sea salt on them definitely helps with the texture and it just makes it that much better afterwards. Make sure to get both sides of the potatoes. So flip them over and then Repeat the same process with the other side. Putting the baking tray in the bake two position and the potatoes and oh yeah, temperature probe in one of them. Monitoring the temperature pulling out at 205 degrees. Cut a thin wedge off the side of each potato lengthwise and then proceed by scooping the inside of each potato into a pot. This works really good for making mashed potatoes. Adding in five cloves of garlic and then milk and butter that I heated in the microwave, a third of a cup, but I used a little bit less. Start mashing away. I like my potatoes smooth. If you like them more coarse with potato bits, then don't be so aggressive at it. After they are mashed, place them onto a stove at very low heat, just to kind of keep them warm while you're preparing everything else. Heading over to the flat top, I have it heated up just a little over 300 degrees and starting off with some scrambled eggs. And I like to keep them moving, kind of bunch them up. Don't let them sit flat for too long, otherwise you have flat scrambled eggs. And just keep them moving, like I said, take them off the griddle for a second, back on, start chopping them up, and we're done. Off to a plate they go. Next with some bacon. Flip them over. Get them to nice and crispen up. Throwing down a hamburger patty that's a half pound. Next to it is a quarter pound. Using Smash That Seasoning by Flat Top King. My dad gets the half pound, that's what he wants. And Removing the bacon once it is finished, putting it on paper towel to drain, flipping the burgers, and oh, look at that crust. So good. Doing a little griddle maintenance on the side. Always clean as you go. My dad's burger is complete. There it is with the garlic mashed potatoes. He loved it. Scrambled eggs into one of them, along with some bacon and some American cheese. Next goes the burger, adding onions, and American cheese. Next one, Rayo's marinara sauce, load it up, and then a ton of mozzarella cheese that I freshly grated. Adding cup and crisp pepperoni. Next one, chili con carne. Oh, it was so good. Along with some onions and freshly shredded cheddar cheese. Next, mashed potatoes. So nice and creamy garlic mashed potatoes. Eat 
into the max they go for about 15 minutes. This one I got some brown gravy, folks. That's a wrap. I'll see you guys back at the table. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Here I am with my five potato bowls. Man, this is a lot of work, as you could tell. And we're going to go through them one by one. I'm not going to eat all of them. There's no way I could eat all of these one sitting. But nonetheless, let's start off with the Italian-based one. So it's got a Rayo's marinara sauce, fresh mozzarella cheese, and pepperoni. Dig in. Bon appetit. Yummers. Good idea with the potato, the marinara, the cheese, the pepperoni. It works. Time for some breakfast. Got the scrambled eggs, bacon, green onions on top, potato. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I can get in the skin of this. Mm. <clears throat> that is good, folks. Now for the mashed potatoes and gravy. Oh yeah, those garlic mashed potatoes with the gravy. Mm-hmm. And all the butter I put on there. I even have some sour cream. <clears throat> Add a little bit. That's bomb. All right, chili cheese. Oh, that's good too. Potatoes, chili, and cheese, onions. Oh, come on. Lastly, cheeseburger. Got the cheese, the potatoes, that uh, smash that seasoning. Mm. Probably should have put some bacon on that one too. So good. All right, folks, all five of these are banging good. I wasn't so sure about the Italian based one when I did this, but um, that one was actually suggested by one of my coworkers. Uh, shout out to Maria. Uh, great idea on that. Absolutely. All of these great ideas. I also want to give a big shout out to Janet and the Caloric Max Air Fryer Oven Group. She's the one that told me about this great idea about doing this type of thing. And um, yeah, definitely thumbs up. I totally recommend you guys trying it. You can put whatever ingredients you want in these. You can do it whatever way you want. Make it your own. I just did what ingredients I thought I would be good with right now. So I might even come back with like an updated version. Maybe like a, a steak and potato version. That might be really good. But uh, Or a chicken and potato. I don't know. I'll come back though at some point. And I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Potato Bowls here on the Food Experience. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I got all kinds of good things coming up. And please leave me a comment. I love hearing from you guys. Any comments, questions, concerns, anything you want. Say, hey, Andy, what's up? I'd love to hear from you. And until next time, have a stellar day. Be excellent. And most of all, remember me. I'm KJ Andy O. Your food experience host with the most. Y'all take care, and I'll see you next time.